Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a new episode of the collab that I am doing with Paula from A Beauty Girl Make Me Do It. We are shopping our stash this year for certain color eyeshadow every month. We have done a ton of colors this year already and I will have my playlist linked down below. I will always have Paula linked down below and her video. I have thought about doing a kind of a blue color because it is summer and August is the last summer month and I am doing this because in Denmark we really don't have any summer left because it's rainy, rainy and windy all the time. It's kind of fall weather now which is sad but we also got a request from Hent. I don't know if I'm pronouncing your name right. I'm sorry if I don't but she requested a kind of ocean turquoise blue color and me and Paula we loved that idea and it was matching my idea of the color blue for August so we thought it was perfect. I will insert the picture that I sent to Paula which has different kinds of blue when you think of the ocean so that is kind of what I thought. So I'm going to start out with some cream shadows because I have a kind of greeny turquoise kind of cream shadow. Two cream shadows I want to talk about. One is blue and one is kind of green turquoise ish shade. Maybe it's more Maybe it's more green. So this is the NYX Luxury I sent, yeah, in Morning Sky. That is the color right there. I think it is absolutely stunning. I also wanted to see how much blue I have in my collection because blue is not a color that I gravitate towards and color that I'm instantly thinking about. Oh, I want to pan that. So. I really wanted to see how much I have in my collection and we can count afterwards because I haven't counted them yet. Oh my god, this is broken too! Oh my god. This is the W7 Hologram 3D eyeshadow stick. I'm panning the pink one of these and that is loose from the packaging as well. That is so sad. It is this color, as you can see it is blue and it's more of a lighter blue and this has a pink shift to it. The pink one I have, I'm panning, it has green shift, so that is kind of cool actually. So this would be a really nice shadow to pan. But as you can see, this is more pink and then you can see the undertone that is more of a blue. It's not very strong. Like the ocean can have different colors and then this is different as well. I think it's really, really beautiful. But yeah, that is the second cream shadow. So let's go into the palettes. Let's start out with a W7 palette. Why not? I always have one in, apparently. This is the W7 Lysa Beach palette. This is perfect, you know, beach, summer, ocean. I'm going to swatch two shadows from this. One is called Sea Foam and one is called Clear Sky. Yeah, sea Foam is like a turquoise, this blue green shadow and then clear sky is this light blue. So I'm going to swatch them for you and then you can see how they are. These two shadows are not my favorite in this, pa this palette. So this is how they are looking like on my fingers. So that is sea foam right there. It's not very pigmented or anything. It should be a shimmer but it's, I don't think it is. And then clear sky is this one right there. So as you can see these are four different colors but they are all like turquoise or ocean blue. Then I have another W7 palette. It is Metal Pop Soft Metallic Shimmers. And I am going to swatch that one right there. Yeah, that is the only kind of blue shade in this palette. So this is, in my head, a true turquoise shadow. So it's a little bit more blue than the cream shadow, but I think it's really, really nice and pretty. At some point I have to pan them, you know, <laughs> but they are fun to play around with and wear once in a while. The next palette is from my Luna Beauty, which is created by Many MUA here on YouTube. I'm going to swatch Fishy, which is very appropriate when you talk about the ocean, which is very blue. Really, really blue. The most blue so far. <laughs> that is really really blue compared to the other shades. Then we have the Blush Tribe Hasina 2 palette and I am going to swatch Mina right there. Mina and maybe Anika. Anika. These two shades right there. Ooh, maybe 
I should swatch Re as well because it's kind of a sea foamy turquoise, that one. So let's do that. This Anika shade, the matte blue, it's not really nice. It's not very good. Those three right there, you see, that's not very good. I like the Luna Beauty one better. Then we have the Blush Tribe Hesina palette. Maybe I should have taken this first because this is the first one. So I am going to swatch Maha, which is this middle shade. I think this is a beautiful ocean blue kind of shadow. Look at my hands, they're stained. <laughs> if you want a monochromatic blue look, this uh, Luna Beauty shade and then this Maha shade from the Hacienda Blush Tribe palette. Oh my god, those would be beautiful together. So that is what this is looking like, really beautiful. Really, really beautiful. Then we have the BS Cosmetic Weekend Festival palette and I am going to swatch Ultimate Palooza. Should we swatch Trans just because we can? Ultimate is this one, Palooza is this one and then what was Trans, this one right there. So these three shades. Look at those, they are beautiful. So it is these three shadows right there. So we start out kind of green and then we go on to the blue, more blue shadows. These three are beautiful. I love this palette so much. Wow. Then I have the Color Festival by BH Cosmetics. Look at my fingers. And I am going to swatch Holo and Denim because Electronic is more green. This is Electronic, so I'm swatching these two. This is Holo and this is denim and these are the colors right here beautiful oh my god <laughs> oh my god look at that shade right there oh my god these are beautiful this is a beautiful hand oh my god and I'm not even into blue, so what is going on? <laughs> but yeah, I'm glad there isn't too many blues in my palettes, you know. In each of the palettes, it's not entirely blue. Um, the most blue palette is maybe the Hesina 2 palette. This is the NYX Ultimate Brights Shadow Palette. And I am going to swatch these two in the middle. These two right there. These two are the colors. Really nice, actually. I have so many. <laughs> I don't need them. The next two shadows are more green, I would say, but we have kind of cleared that with other shadows in the beginning. Then we have the Blush Trap Paulina palette. And I am going to swatch solely that shadow right there. I think it's like a sea foam kind of turquoise. Look at that. That is absolutely stunning. Oh my word. Holy moly. That is so beautiful. Oh my god. I don't believe how beautiful that is. Oh my god, that is intense. Beautiful metallic. I love a good metallic shadow. <laughs> Then we have the Vice 4 palette by Um Decay, and I am actually panning this shade. There are no spoilers because I really don't have, I haven't used it really. This is Arctic, this one right here. It is kind of a more teal green shade. It looks like a green, but it's actually a bluish green. So I define that as a turquoise teal. That one right there. Looks like that shadow, and that is the NYX Lingerie Lit Tint thingy, eye tint. Then we have the BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette, and there is a green, no, a teal, for Aries, Aries, this blueish teal shade. A little bit dark, but we're fine. That is beautiful. I'm obsessed with these three colors. They are so beautiful. 
And last palette I want to show you guys is my Zodiac Love Science palette by BH Cosmetics. I have two shades from here. I want to swatch and then I am done. I don't have any more blues that I would call or that I thing can fit into the ocean blue family um, and it is the two shades from Capricorn these two right here they are on the lighter side I know but we need some lightness to this Aquarius is in my head something with water right and they are kind of dark so I don't really know why they are so dark and these are so light I would have made those a lighter teal but that's just me so this is the colors on my fingers. This is how they look like. Beautiful. <laughs> that is how they are looking like. These two right there. So this is the teal ocean blue turquoise family of the shadows that I have in my collection. Some are more green, some are more very blue and some is in between and I absolutely love it. It's funny how much I actually love this color but I don't wear it as much on my eyes. My go-to blue kind of look is just a pop of color and I will never get through my eyeshadows if I just do the pop of color. Uh, the shimmer shadows are, I think would be easier to go through than the matte shadows because I can just put them on my lid and pair them with another color and it's not, it doesn't translate that blue, you know. If you put it in your crease, the look is automatically, in my head at least, turning very blue. And you can kind of get away with the shimmer more than the matte. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please check out Paula if you haven't already and her video. I'm so excited to watch her video. I haven't seen her swatches or anything i haven't heard about her about anything so i'm really excited to see her video so check her out if you haven't already you would love her i adore that woman she is so brave and so kind-hearted and amazing you would love you will love her you will get obsessed with her i hope you liked this video if you did give it a like subscribe down below if you haven't already to my channel and if you come from paula's hi i am so excited for you to be here i do a lot of pretty panning on my channel a lot <laughs> and i do palette bingos and empties and stuff like that and this kind of series if you have a request for something blue i can definitely do it in a look i do love creating a blue look i just don't pan it you know <laughs> so let me know down below if you have any wishes for a video and until the next one please take care bye